Alone we can do so little. Together we can do so much. It's a famous quote by Helen Keller. As leaders, we always have a responsibility to lead our teams towards success. We must be able to motivate, guide, and inspire our team members to achieve the goals. One of the most important aspects of success in any organization is the ability to lead a team. Leading a team can be challenging, but it is also incredibly rewarding. Today, I want to share with you some insights on how to effectively lead your team to success. A successful leader understands the strength and weakness of each team member, and they create an environment that encourages open communication, collaboration, and creativity. With the right mindset, your team can achieve anything they set their minds to, and you will be able to guide them towards success. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Today, I want to share with you my experience of leading a team during an icebreaker marathon and an international speech contest. These were two very different projects, but both taught me the valuable lessons about leadership. An icebreaker marathon is an event that involves multiple speakers giving the first ever speech in front of an audience. As the organizer of the event, I had to ensure that each speaker felt comfortable, supported and confident. The first key to lead the team during the icebreaker marathon was communication. I had to communicate clearly and effectively with each speaker, ensuring that they knew what to expect and how to prepare for that. I also had to communicate with the audience, setting the tone for the event and explaining the purpose behind it. The second key was leading by example. As the organizer, I had to set the tone for the event. I made sure to be present, supportive and encouraging, creating a positive and welcoming environment for everyone involved. The third key was building trust with the speakers. As they were giving the first ever speeches, it was essential that they felt comfortable and supported. I made sure to be approachable and available, listening to their concerns and positive feedbacks and guidance as needed. The fourth key was motivation. Of course, that is needed. I motivated the speakers by recognizing the achievements, encouraging them when they were nervous and providing them with valuable feedbacks. And it also so important that we have to provide with the tools and resources they have to they need to succeed because motivation is the most key factor in any organization as a team leader i also motivated the audience making them feel invested in the speaker's success and creating a positive and engaging atmosphere so this icebreaker marathon was a huge success and i was really proud of what we achieved together this experience prepared me for my next challenge, leading a team during an international speech contest. The international speech contest was a much more complex and challenging project. It involved participants, judges, and other organizers from all around the world. Effective communication was critical, and I had to ensure that everyone understood the roles and responsibility. As the lead organizer, I had to lead by example. I showed my team that I was committed to the project and willing to put into the work to achieve the success. I built trust with each and every team members by being open, honest, and transparent. As I motivate the team by recognizing the hard work and contributions. In addition to the speech contest, I also have worked with the public relation as well as the vice president of education in my Toastmasters club. Because these roles always have taught me the importance of being proactive and taking initiative while working alongside with VP education and VPPR. It is really important that I had to make sure that our club's agenda and posters were in line with our goals and objective. I had to motivate. I have to encourage them to prepare the agenda and posters. Leading a team during an international speech contest was an incredible experience because it taught me the importance of effective communication, leading by example, building trust and motivating team members. And of course, I can say that and my experience leading an icebreaker marathon helped me prepare for this challenge. In conclusion, whether it's an icebreaker marathon or an international speech contest, 
the key to success remains the same communication leading by example building trust and motivation leading a team to success involves a lot lot of hard work and dedication it requires a clear vision well defined goals and an effective plan of action as a leader it is your responsibility to communicate this vision and goals to your team in a way in a way that inspires and motivates them to work it have to motivate them to work towards achieving them so one of the key components of successful leadership is effective communication because it is really important to establish open lines of communication please note my point open lines of communication with your team members ensuring that they feel heard and valued they have to be feel heard and valued so this can be done through regular checkups meetings and one on one conversations just thing like when your team member feel heard and valued when your team member feel heard and valued they are more likely to be engaged and motivated and this is my assurance celebrating success is also crucial in maintaining team morale and motivation because it is also important learn from setbacks and failures as a leader it is your responsibility to guide your team through difficult times and help them lead from any mistakes so what you can do encourage your team members to reflect what exactly went wrong identify areas for improvement develop strategies for overcoming any obstacles i once more repeat that encourage your team members to reflect on what went wrong identify areas for improvement and develop each strategy for overcoming any obstacles as a leader it's your job to guide your team towards success but it's the team that ultimately achieves thank you and out to you toastmaster of the day toastmaster reshma